Good morning. Uh, recently, a video came out uh, discussing the Chokina curse. Uh, it was put out by Nathan H83. And uh, let me show that. H83. Um, yeah, it was put out March uh, 4th, actually, March 4th. <clears throat> and uh, Nathan and I had discussed this issue. So he sent me the video to look at it, and I made some comments on it. And uh, so I recommend you go look at the video and the comments I made on it. And I want to make a video discussing uh, what the issue is in that curse and uh, why it's not a problem. Actually, the curse is actually a defense of the virgin birth. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to read here. The curse uh, is in Jeremiah. And uh, here uh, the curse is placed on the lineage from Solomon. Uh, uh, the last king who sat on the throne before the Babylonian, Babylonian captivity, uh, Coniah. And um, verse 30 it says, He thus saith the Lord, Write ye this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days, for no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David, ruling any more in Judah. So the issue is on the seed, which meant that the, the seed could not come from the line of Solomon. And that's where the curse uh, falls. Now, if you go to Matthew, that's the lineage uh, talking, uh, speaking about the line. Uh, Joseph came from the line of, of uh, Solomon. And that's why <coughs> we know that, uh, excuse me, we know that the, uh, uh, Joseph could not be the physical father of, uh, of Christ. He was the legal father. And the uh, legal issue there, uh, comes to that. Now, Nathan seems to be upset that the fact that uh, Jesus is in a, is in a uh, what he calls a cursed line, and uh, he, he's trying to say that's not the same Jokina. Uh, and the fact it is, um, and the curse actually supports the fact that Joseph is uh, uh, not uh, Christ's physical father, but his legal father. And Matthew and uh, Luke three talks about the uh, genetic line, which is from Mary, which goes through the line of uh, Nathan. Uh, Solomon's brother. So the, the very important to understand the distinctions and why the Kunai curse is very important to actually defend the virgin birth and it's not a problem with Christ being in that line of the Jokonaya line as long as it's the legal line and not the uh, biological line, which it isn't. Uh, Joseph was the uh, father, the son-in-law of uh, Heli and we see that in, in uh, Luke 3. But anyway, so it's in uh, Matthew one twelve, and uh, it says, uh, Jokanias begat uh, Salathiel, and Salathiel begets Zerubbabel. And then it goes along the line <coughs> of Zerubbabel begetting some other people, and so on and so on. Uh, Abiud, and Abiud beget uh, Elkiam, and Elkiam beget uh, Azor. Now what's happening here is the line of uh, so, uh, Salathiel, uh, uh, is a, uh, uh, in First Chronicles 2, we find this line discussed. And this line clearly is not the one that's being followed in First Chronicles 3. In First Chronicles 3, you have a, uh, from the 317, it is 316, uh, the sons of, uh, jo, uh, jo, uh, jo Haikim and jo Jokaniah, his son, Zedekiah, his son, the sons of uh, Jokaniah, uh, Asiya, so there's the uh, father, the father of uh, Salathiel, uh, his son, uh, Mal -ki uh, Kiram, also, and Padiah, okay, Padiah, and then Shenezah, and uh, Jechemiah, Hosh uh, Hoshamah, and uh, ne Nebiah. And then it goes on to the lines of the sons of the sons of Pay, pay, uh, pay idea. Well, Zerubbabel and Shimei and the sons of Zerubbabel and, uh, so on and so on. So, First Chronicles 3 continues on with the line of Padea. It doesn't talk about the line of, uh, of, uh, uh, of, uh, Sal Alethia. It doesn't talk, speak about his line. And when we read in, uh, Matthew 12, we'll go back to here. Matthew 12. Uh, 112. And after they were brought to Babylon, uh, Je Jeconias begot. And begetting doesn't necessarily mean your father. You can go to your father, grandfather, great grandfather. Um, 
So he doesn't have to, that's not, doesn't mean he's the father, the direct father. Uh, Salethio and Salethio beget Zerubbabel. And so what uh, Nathan is trying to assume is that uh, that Zerubbabel is the same Zerubbabel that is mentioned in Padaeus, Padaeus line. But Zerubbabel is a common name. And so they could have two Zerubbabels and, uh, clearly this line he had mentioned here is not the line being mentioned in 1 Chronicles 3. That line is Padaeus and you trace these names here. These lines don't, these names don't show up in 1 uh, Chronicles 3. Uh, so, but the, the Padaya line, uh, the brother of uh, Salatio, uh is mentioned, uh, and that's the line that First Chronicles three continues with. While this line here is uh, Salatio beget to Zerubbabel, and so surely Zerubbabel is speaking to uh, Salatio's son, uh, which is the uh, the grandson uh, or great grandson, I guess, of Jeconias. And so the that that line there continues on with uh, from the Jeconiah curse. It's the same Jeconiah, uh, uh, or Coniah of, uh, that is cursed. And, um, there's not two Coniahs. That's what, uh, uh, Nathan's trying to prove that this is not the same, uh, Coniah or Jeconiah that is, is cursed in, uh, Jeremiah 30. And he's trying to do that because he doesn't want, uh, <coughs> the, uh, the, uh, Jesus being in the same line of, uh, of this. But he's not in the line. He's mentioned in the line, but he's not in the line. If he's uh, basically in Jacob to get Joseph, the, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who was called Christ. So Jesus is not in this line uh, genetically. He's mentioned here as being the uh, uh, the son of Mary. And uh, so there's not a problem with this, that, that Jesus is cursed, because he's not. He, uh, biologically, he's from the line of, uh, of uh, Nathan, uh, which was uh, Solomon's brother. And that line was not cursed. The Kanai curse was that there would be no seed that would come from that line of Solomon. So we know from that fact that Joseph being from that seed of Solomon could not be the biological father of uh, Christ. And therefore, uh, that defends the virgin birth. That's why it's an important uh, point. And the Kanai curse is uh, uh, an important defense of the, um, the virgin birth. So uh, Joseph uh, could not uh, uh, be uh, Christ's biological father. And we go to Luke uh, 3, what you have there <coughs> is, uh, you go through that genealogy, you start off with here, and Jesus, um, uh, 323, and Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age, being as was supposed, the son of Joseph, which was the son of Heli, <coughs> and Heli is, is a son-in-law, and you can go to uh, you see that in 1 Samuel 24, 16, that usage, uh, I think that's where, uh, Saul talks about the David, 1 Samuel 20, 24, 16. And it came to pass when David made an end of speaking these words unto Saul, and Saul said, is this, the, is that, is this thy voice, my son David? So he called David his son. Why is he called him son? Because it's his son-in-law, not his very biological son. And so that's the usage of it found in the Bible. So uh, the fact is, the Kaniah curse uh, is a curse that uh, was taught, fell on Solomon. Uh, that that biological line would be dead. Now, First Chronicles three uh, is pointing out the Badia line, not the uh, Salatio line, uh, which is mentioned in um, Matthew twelve. Uh, Joe, Joe uh, Canaius is the, uh, uh, the father, or the grandfather of uh, both those, uh, the Padaya and the uh, Salatio, uh, 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 people, uh, men. And, um, so there's really not a problem here. And, uh, and there's no, you know, and we've been a point of confusion. Uh, you have to just remember that, uh, the way the Bible uses words beget and sons, uh, and brethren, uh, refers not to just immediate, uh, uh sons or uh, brothers, but can have a wider connotation based on its usage. And uh, also looking at the, uh, being careful when we look at these chronographies, that often there are gaps. <coughs> and uh, uh, not everything is, you can see everything exactly uh, uh, in order. God has let us know what we need to know. And uh, the fact is that Joseph was in the line of Solomon. That line was cursed. It's all, so, so when we see when we see Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, we know that Joseph was not his biological father. He couldn't be, or he never he could not assume the throne of David. Um, 
that's a legal line that we're looking at there, not a biological line. We find the biological line, the line of Luke, where Heli is called, uh, uh, Joseph is called Heli's son. And when in fact, that means he, he was his son-in-law. So it's really not a powerful confusion. The Jukonai curse was a uh, uh, curse to close down the line of Solomon, and, but uh, Solomon had a brother named Nathan. And so uh, the line just took another another course. And the, um, uh, the airship of David runs through the line of Dave, Nathan now, and uh, not <clears throat> and that's all. Amen. Thank you.